I'd love him. That's so sweet. Roz, listen. He says it's an engagement ring. He says they're going to get married. Let him have his dream. Give him the money and don't spoil it for him. Rosalind, you seem to be forgetting how your son gets when he makes up his mind to do something. Roger, you're a dreamer. You get these romantic ideas without realizing the consequences. For instance, what kind of a ring do you think you can buy for $10? The ring is three hundred dollars. If ten dollars is just the down payment, then it's ten dollars a week after. Ten dollars a week from what? You get into time payments, Roger. You have to sign a contract. You're twenty-one now. You're responsible. Where are you going to get this money every week? Do doing extra chores around here and helping out as a teacher's aide. Okay, Rod, you like the girl and you want to buy I her a ring. I love Virginia and I'm going to marry her, Dad. Okay, someday you're going to marry Not her. Not someday. Some, someday is make-believe. This is for real. Suppose it was tomorrow. You've never lived on your own, much less try to support somebody else. A married man has to have a job. Okay, I'll get a job. You have to learn about paying bills, making a budget, cleaning your clothes. Buying your food, cooking your food, learning how to get around the city, getting to work on time, rain or shine. A married man is loaded down with responsibilities. So is a married woman. And when Virginia and me do all that stuff together, it's not so tough. Okay, can I have the ten, please? Well, where's the street that goes to the little picture? The narrow street that goes downtown is called Cortez. Oh, Cortez. <laughs> oh, you better write it down so we don't forget it. Cortez. <laughs> we found it all by ourselves. Oh, we found it together. Yeah. Pico. Pico. Oh,
<laughs> Not me, buddy. He's down there. All right, thank you. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm here about the job in the paper for a bus boy. Do you live around here? I, I take the bus. I, I live at the Martin F. Feeney home. Do you have any trouble finding us? No, sir. I, I got it all written down. Why don't you sit over there and fill out a form? Yes, sir. Could I have a seven up with two cherries, please? That's it. Plain seven up. Yeah, just the plain seven up and, and the two cherries. Give me seven up, Joey. Okay. Thank you. Form and you get the job, you're gonna be my bus boy. Can you cut it, kid? Oh, yeah, I can cut it. I have to. Well, come on. Let's get to work. <laughs> Joe, I think you're the hardest working student I've ever had. When I got married, I want everyone to hear me say, I do clearly. Virginia, <laughs> I, got, I, I, I got the job. They, they know I, I live here and everything I got. It. Oh, that's wonderful, Roger. Congratulations. <laughs> it's, it's only part time. We're going to get $50 a week. <laughs> you can do it now. We can get married. <laughs> Jenny Ray, the family only wants what's best for you. This is too soon. But, Annie Katie, Roger and I have known each other for over a year now. You're too young. I'm 20. You told me that's how old my mother was and she got married. Jenny Ray, that's different. Your mother wasn't... Was what? Jenny Ray, you know what I'm talking about. Roger, your mother and I are thrilled that you got a job, but you haven't worked yet. Tell them if it's true love, they can wait. Why? What for? You're too young. Roger, when it comes to living, you're a baby. Listen to me and quit making a fool out of yourself. You cannot get married. 